My name is Artie. I'm with the Lakota People's Law Project. It was just announced earlier today that Energy Transfer Partners is going to go underneath Lake Oahe. Um, and this is in defiance of the Army Corps of Engineers making the statement yesterday uh, that they are denying the easement. So a lot of people here at camp are celebrating. They're happy. There were fireworks last night. Our Shambo, the chairman, said yesterday that we can now all go home to our families. That's not true. We cannot go home to our families because the pipeline is not stopped. They're still planning to go underneath the lake and define some Army, of Army Corps of Engineers. So we need to stand strong together. If you're here listening to this, please come join your brothers and sisters here. We need numbers, okay? If we stand strong together, we can defeat this pipeline. Do you think the, the veterans, they use the veterans as a decoy, essentially, to make it seem like you know, everything's going to be okay, send everyone home, and then go ahead and, as business as usual? Well, I can't, say, I can't say that, but what I can say is that they absolutely love to hear that people think it's over and that they're going home. They are ecstatic <laughs> that people are leaving thinking it's over because they're trying to obviously get the pipeline through and they don't want any opposition. So people need to realize that they're still going to go underneath the river, okay? Even though the Army Corps of Engineers denied the easement, they are still going to go underneath the river. So if you're listening to this in your camp and you're planning to go home, do not leave just yet. It is not over, okay? Archambeau, like I said yesterday, announced go home to your families. Don't go home yet, okay? We need to stand here together and we can beat this pipeline. We have the numbers. Has there been a response from the Army Corps of Engineers? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, yeah, you got any other insights uh, that people out there need to know? Um, well, I just want to let people know and remind people that Sunoco, the future pipeline uh, operator, um, has spilled crude oil more than any of its competitors more than 200 times since 2010. That's about once a week they spill crude oil, okay? And in the United States in total, since 2010, there have been more than a thousand crude oil spills, okay? And crude oil spills, I, don't, I feel like I don't need to tell you guys this, but when it spills, it's releasing toxic chemicals. And these toxic chemicals affect the drinking water of the people not only at this tribe, at the San Roxy tribe, but also millions of people downstream. A lot of people do not uh, rely on this uh, reservoir here, uh, Lake Oahe, one of the biggest reservoirs on the Missouri River for, for drinking water. And uh, if they build this pipeline, it's, it's going to eventually spill. It's not really a matter of uh, if it's going to spill, it's a matter of when it's going to spill. There's a one and a half percent allowance actually that you can leak at all times. So if you have half a million uh, gallons pumping through a day, right. that means it's just allowed to leak thousands yeah. of gallons a day. Yeah, and it's endangering people's lives. Corporations don't care about your health, okay? They only care about making money. And they're not going to stop unless we stand up and have the numbers to physically stop them from building the pipeline because they don't care about people's lives. So we need to stand together and show them that we care and that we're not going to let them do this. Cool, thanks. All right. Tell me your name. Before you My name is Artie Ragion. I'm with the Lakota People's Law Project. Thanks a lot, man. Thank All you, right. Artie. Yeah. So you hear? We got this on. You heard it here. Uh, just like I was predicting, a lot of us were predicting it here that um, they're just going to go ahead and do it anyhow. That's that's how the pipeline behaves. That's how corporations behave. It's just greed. It's the bottom line. Uh, it has been announced that they're just going ahead under Lake Oahe anyhow. So this is. Uh, you know, momentary celebration, uh, but you know, they're back to their old tricks already. Uh, we're in the middle of a blizzard, and you can see, you know, the veterans have been marching. Uh, it's celebratory, uh, but in a lot of ways, there's nothing to celebrate about. If you're here, if you're still in Standing Rock and you've got a signal like me, remember that uh, we need to stay, stay here. They are drilling. That's the news, everyone. They are drilling. Uh, they're going under Lake Oahe. Um, so, so we need the we need the veterans, you know, to say stuff about this. We need everyone out there in Facebook land and social media. You need to let them know they are drilling. So I'm gonna end the live stream there and uh, peace be with you.